Ladies and gentlemen, members and friends, it's Matt Bailey here, your branch director for the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society Australia, and I'm back at Whiskey and Almond with Lachlan Watt, the bar manager for Whiskey and Almond. Um, and we're exploring yet another archive release of the month. Yes. Yeah, and you've pulled it out of the Society's archive here, the cabinet upstairs in Melbourne Whiskey Room. Uh, tell us what the thought was behind pulling this one out and what it is. Well, I decided, well, Obviously, this month we are going into all of our festival releases for the year, so we decided to pull out one, uh, a previous festival release, which is from Facial 2019, and it was one of the more um, exciting releases from that year, from memory. It yeah. was uh, It's up there with the uh, Cantina Mexicana, the... That was very good. Yeah, the, uh, some of the other Face Shield releases, like there was the, the, the 10 that's over there as well. Yep. Very exciting releases. So we decided to pull this one out and have a bit of fun. It's a 19 year old uh, single cask from the 29th distillery, so... Yeah. Might as well crack into it. Yeah, it's, it, and you might notice it's actually already open because um, we're filming this video a little bit later than we had anticipated. Uh, Life gets in the way sometimes. Or um, a trip to Scotland. Or a trip to Scotland gets <laughs> in the way sometimes. Um, you can you be honest? Um, pour a little bit of this for each of us to have a taste and a chat about and some of the flavours here. Um, and we'll just uh, have a crack into it. Immediately that How syrupy is that just coming oh, out of the no. bottle though? It's like, it's, it's like treacle out of this bottle. Um, it's, there's actually an interesting story behind this particular festival release. This was, as Lachlan said, for Faish Isla Festival. Uh, in 2019, I tasted this particular cask as an 18 year old in 2018 mm. and we went through panel for it. I'll show you a photo here of what the sample looked like. It was called Old Engine Oil. That was the name of this release when it was first re first thing we are going to panel. It sat for another year and then it was bottled in 2019 for the festival just in time. Uh, that Old Engine Oil is pretty, pretty succinct. Yeah. That's sort of like um, opening like the bonnet of like a greasy old sort of car. Benito flakes as well. Yep, yep. Get that immediate like uh, soaked raisins. Mm. Oh. It's so vibrant though. Even for a 19 year old Isla whiskey, mm. you can tell it's an Isla whiskey. You can it's the peat isn't hidden. It's definitely more subdued. That's something that happens with Isla whiskey often, isn't it? The older it gets. Yeah. I, I personally find that uh, my preferred whiskies from this particular distillery tend to be in that 19 through 25 range because of the, the, the reduction in that peak character, it still it becomes quite elegant and fruity. And So what you're saying is you've got an expensive taste. Mm, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Regularly slipping on 25 year old expressions of uh, car strength 29s. Yep. Yeah. Good. Me too. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a taste. You can still see the, the inherent character from this distillery thrashing through that mid palate. It's so like, it's called an elemental, sorry, a visceral elemental experience. And the visceral part is right there. It's still so vibrant mm. and visceral, but it's also quite oily and, and very mouth coating. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm not gonna add any water to that. We don't have any water on the table. We don't need it for this one. Mm. Now this is open downstairs at Whiskey and Almond now. Yes it is. And it's available by the dram as, as you can see it's already had a good dent, a good third taken out of it already. Uh, this along with the full festival outturn is available on the bar downstairs. And this is some rather uh, exciting whiskies for the festival this month throughout May. So if you want to, if you live in Victoria or if you don't live in Victoria, make the trek to Whiskey and Almond and try the festival releases. Um, do yourself six half measures and do your own tasting downstairs and it's, it, it's an awesome way to preview them before they yeah. get released throughout this month in May. There's some exciting distilleries in there as well this, this time around. Yeah, so for me, excitingly as well, the 19, mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. seeing a good sherry 53 come through, and um, the yeah. 36 as well. 36, yeah, yeah that's some, some of our really like interesting cast treatment with the, um, with the I think that was uh, a Tavasa cask, I think that was the Tavasa cask, that one. Mm. Yeah, great stuff coming through. So get a chance to have a preview of the festival. And um, Lachlan, thank you so much for opening something really special from the archive. It may have only been three years ago this came out, but it's one of those whiskies that will forever remain in your memory. And I'm so glad to be able to have another dram of this. Absolutely, me too. Cheerio. Sanjeeva. Cheers.